Today we are going to learn about the topic prime factorization. As you all are aware that all composite numbers can be expressed as the product of their prime factors. So prime factorization is a method of expressing a composite number as a product of its prime factors. And prime factorization can be done in two ways. The first one is factor tree method and the second one is division method. Well friends, first we are going to use factor tree method to find the prime factors of a given number. So we go through the question statement. Find the prime factors of the given numbers using the factor tree method. And the first part is 72. So we are going to write this number 72 as the product of any two numbers. And the two numbers which strike my mind are 8 and 9. 8 times 9 is equal to 72. And what do we observe? That both these numbers are composite numbers. So naturally we are required to break them further. So I start with 8 now. Let's write 8 as the product of two numbers. So 4 into 2 gives us 8. Now what do I find? That 2 is a prime factor of 8. So I circle it. But 4 is a composite factor. So let's break 4 further into two numbers whose product will be equal to 4. So I write 2 into 2. And these two factors are prime numbers, so I am going to circle them. Now let's move to the next composite factor of 72, which is 9. Now I break 9 into the product of two numbers. So let's write 3 into 3. 3 into 3 gives us 9. And what do I find? That these two numbers are prime factors of 9 and that is why I am circling them. Fine. Now let's write the prime factorization of 72. Now prime factorization is a method of expressing a number as the product of its prime factors. So I begin with this 2. 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3. What do you observe? I have written only the prime factors of 72 here. And let's check whether the product of these prime factors is equal to 72 or not. So 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 3 is 24. 24 times 3 is equal to 72. That means our answer is correct. Now we move to part B. Here we are required to find the prime factors of 48. So I write 48 here and now I am going to write this number 48 as a product of two numbers. So those two numbers which strike my mind are 12 times 4 gives us 48. And what do I find? That both these factors are composite factors. So I start breaking the first composite factor which is 12. So let's write 12 as the product of two numbers. So 2 times 6 will give me 12. And what do I find? That 2 is a prime factor. So I circle it. Now we are left with 6. So let's write 6 as a product of any two numbers. So those two numbers that strike my mind are 2 into 3 which is equal to 6. And both these factors are prime factors so we will circle them. Now we move to the next composite factor of 48. Now we are going to write 4 as the product of any two numbers. So 2 into 2 gives us 4. And these two factors are prime factors, so I circle them. Now let's write the prime factorization of 48, everybody. I begin with the extreme left prime factor. So it is 2 into 2 into 3 into 2 into 2. If you want to organize this in a proper way, so let's arrange them 
them in ascending order or increasing order. So I write all the two factors together and then finally I write 3. Now let's check whether the product of these factors is equal to 48 or not. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16 and 16 times 3 is equal to 48. So my friends, this is how we find the prime factors of a given number using factor tree method. So now we are going to learn the second method and that is division method. In this method, we divide the given number by the first prime number that is 2. If the given number is not divisible by 2, we try dividing it by the next prime number. And we will keep repeating this process until the dividend is 1. So let's start with part A which is 50. Now 50 we all know is an even number and it can be divided by the first prime number that is 2. 50 divided by 2 gives us 25. I know that 25 is not divisible by 2 or the next prime number that is 3. So now I divide it by 5. 25 divided by 5 gives us 5. Now again we are going to divide 5 by 5, 5 divided by 5 gives us 1. Now we are left with the dividend 1. So we should stop dividing. So the prime factorization of 50 is equal to 2 times 5 times 5. So 2 times 5 gives us 10 and 10 times 5 gives us 50. The product of these prime factors is equal to the given number which shows the answer is correct. So let's find the prime factors of the number 112. So I write 112 here and as it is an even number, so it will surely be divisible by the first prime number 2. And when I am going to divide 112 by 2, my answer will come as 56. 56 again is an even number. So it will be divisible by 2. 56 divided by 2 gives us 28. So 28 as it is an even number. So it will be divisible by 2 again. 28 divided by 2 gives us 14. Now 14 again is an even number. So it will be divisible by 2. 14 divided by 2 gives us 7. Now I divide 7 by 7. 7 divided by 7 gives us 1. We are left with 1 now. So we should stop dividing it. So prime factorization of 112 is equal to. Let's express it as the product of its prime factors. So I write here 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 7. Now we are going to check whether the product of these prime factors is equal to the given number or not. So 2 times 2 gives us 4. 4 times 2 gives us 8. And 8 times 2 gives us 16. And 16 times 7 is equal to 112. So children, this is how we find the prime factors of a given number and we can express that given composite number as the product of its prime factors. I hope you found both these methods easy and you would have learned them by now. So don't forget to practice both the methods on your own at home. So bye-bye for now and don't forget to join me in my next video.